Hey, it's Mark here from editorskeys.com and today we've got some exciting news from Adobe. They've just announced Adobe Premiere Rush CC for iOS, the Mac, PC and Android coming very soon. It's a new video editing app designed for all of you online video creators. Uh, we're taking a look at it now and it basically seems to be somewhere in between what iMovie is and the full version of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So what can uh, Adobe Rush do? Well, what I found really interesting is mainly the iOS version of the app. Uh, first of all, you get full control over the, the kind of filming aspect of your iPhone. So if you've ever wanted control of aperture, of frame rates, um, aspect ratios and things like that, you can now do that directly from the Adobe Premiere Rush app and it gives you full control, like I say, over the aperture and frame rate and things like that, which I think is really interesting and, and rather cool. Up until now, you've only been able to do things like this within apps like Filmic Pro. Next up is the editing. Now, um, when I first opened up the app, I thought it looked like a bit of a glorified version of iMovie. But when you hit one of the icons below, it opens up multi-track video editing, which means you can have up to three um, tracks of video and three tracks of audio. So you can actually overlay video, you can overlay graphics and titles, which makes this a really powerful tool. Once you dive into some of the menus, you also get uh, full control of things like LUTs and, and looks. Uh, and you can get to dial in deeper down and you can change the exposure, saturation, and just all aspects of your video, which I think, as you can tell, is really exciting. And it's really cool to see Adobe bringing this kind of power to things like uh, the iPhone, the iPad, and Android devices. At launch, the iOS versions are available today. The Android versions are coming uh, within, the, within the next few months, we've heard from Adobe. So that's the overall kind of look at Adobe Premiere Rush. But if we dial a bit deeper into it, you can see that you've got uh, full title effects. You can actually edit the fonts of the titles. You've got uh, a lot of different transitions here. They're starting off with four or five, but I'm sure they'll add more in in the future. You've got, as I say, full color control. Um, you have audio control, and they've actually added in quite a lot of audio control here in the iOS version of the app. Um, so you can remove background noise, you can enhance the audio for narration, you have the ability to record voiceover um, directly into the app. You can even plug in an external USB microphone, which makes this a really great editing sort of powerhouse when you're on the go and you want to record. Uh, and there's also transform tools as well. Another exciting thing is that because this is aimed at video creators, you know, people who want to put out good content but may not be pro-level video editors, um, what they've done is they've given you the ability to change the aspect ratio. So you can, um, halfway through a project, you can just press a little button here and you can have it changed to portrait mode for Instagram, landscape mode for YouTube, or just a square format for uh, you know, your main Instagram feed, which is really cool. The other great thing as well is that you no longer have to worry about files and operating systems. If you start editing a project on the iPhone or Android, it will sync across Adobe Creative Cloud and then you can open it up on another iPad or your Mac or a PC. There's no converting or anything needed. It's all done in the background and I think that makes it really interesting. It's just a really easy to use tool if you're getting into video for the first time it's definitely worth checking this out. Now I want you to think about this as well. Let's just say you've been out on the road, you've been filming at a trade show or an event with your iPhone or DSLR. You can actually start a project on your iPhone, start putting the timeline together, and then when you get back to your desktop, you can open it up, the full project in Adobe Premiere Pro CC, the full video editing application, and continue your edit on there. And I think that's a really powerful tool. So once your footage is edited and ready to go, you can actually hit the export button and export directly to your YouTube channel, to Instagram, to Instagram stories, directly from the app. It handles all of the export for you. It's just a couple of clicks and away you go. So as I say, you can download Adobe Premiere Rush today uh, for free if you have the Creative Cloud account, or you can get it for free on the App Store with a few free exports ready today. So what do you think about this? Is this a great thing for video creators like yourself, or would you prefer it to stay to its pro level status of things like Final Cut Pro X and Premiere Pro CC? Do you think this is playing in the muddy middle ground? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this first look at Adobe Premiere Rush, 
Let us know your comments, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.